Welcome to Guangzhou, China. Today I am visiting one of the largest remaining traditional Chinese medicine markets. Now I've been doing some reading online and it says that this market offers everything from family heirlooms to mushrooms the size of children but hidden amongst the streets you can also find its darker side where turtles, monkeys, snakes, scorpions and many more animals are sold. Now let's pick this up from Guangzhou, hope you enjoy. Good morning from Guangzhou, China. China's fourth largest city with a population of over 16 million people. I've been doing a bit of reading and I've read that there's a large medicinal market selling agricultural items, herbal remedies, and it's got over 1,200 booths. So we're gonna head there now, gonna see what it's about. So we're gonna jump on the metro. This is Line 6 station, Ruifang. And it's around a kilometer and a half down to the market. Let's go. It was one stop on the metro and now we came out of exit or entrance B and we're walking along West Heaping Road. This looks to be the start of something now. There's a lot of stalls, these big bags of things outside them. I won't be buying any herbal med medicines or any um, agricultural items for medicinal purposes, but we'll have a look anyway. Just looks like a normal market so far. Seems like every stall is selling the same thing, these big bags of whatever they are. Look at these, are these mushrooms? Very fucking cool. So I've come inside to the shopping centre now, there was a big sign saying Jinping on it, so I'm guessing it carries on in the year. Although I don't expect to see animals in the year. It's just going to be the same old stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's all the same stuff, just like the bag. And I don't know what they are, to be honest. You get some nice pottery and glass vases and tubs. I'm not sure if you can buy them. Oh, there's actually antlers there. Shit. So there were deer's heads, antlers, feet of some sort in that stall there. Pretty fucking grim. It stinks as well. We'll go up one more, I think. It's a big place though. Not everywhere is open either, you see all the shuttered off. What are they? Yo. They look weird. This place is absolutely huge. Yo. Do I go up one more or what? Yeah. 
They look like maggots. What the hell? Just realised that they're, they're selling big bags of truffles. Yeah. <laughs> People look at me like, what the hell are you doing here? Right then, let's go down. That was the medicinal market, and I'm going to be honest, it wasn't that brilliant. It was 1,200 stalls, all selling the same thing. So I've been reading there's a fish or seafood market just over the road, the Hyangsha Aquatics Product Market. We're going to go there now and see what that's like. Let's go. I knew I was closest because I could smell the fish. Um, so this is it, this is the aquatic or seafood products market. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see, it just looks like wholesale stuff. We're just getting boxed off in these big crates and boxes and shipped off really. Um, yeah, it smells though. Oh wow, look at them there. medicine one that just bloody had bags of herbs the same one everyone you went to this is bustling people shouting blackfish there oh there's crabs here oh they're in, they're in plastic cases man what the hell Oh, these ones aren't though. Look at them. Neo. So yeah, there's a lot of people looking at me. Oh, look at them there. Okay, now that is absolutely huge. Oh my god, look at the eels. These grabs are fucking massive. Are these real? They move. They're cool. <laughs> I don't know if these things are real, these ones are the shells. I think she's getting a translator out. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Holy shit! Look at that! Lobster? Oh my god! Oh, King Clam! Yeah! King Clam! King Clam, yeah! King Clam, I'm... Can I write back? Like, are they alive? Oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, you. So the king clams were alive. Fucking hell. Look at the size of that. Wow, look at them big lobsters up there. Oh, 
Oh, King Clams again. Size of men. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> These are big king clams. So I think I think it's all the same thing, is there's more king crabs there. There's more cockles, there's more fish, more eels, and probably more king clams. <laughs> Interesting though, it is quite cool to see. The place is absolutely chaotic as hell. There's water getting splashed everywhere, there's ice being thrown everywhere, fish everywhere. There's even rats eating dead fish and dead bits of crabs, legs and that, but it goes on for miles and miles. And there's bikes everywhere, you've got to watch out for the bikes. Hello. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that gives you an idea of um, types of markets that are here. The medicinal one, which didn't live up to it too. There's high hopes, the article's written about it, and then also the aquatic or the fish market. I'm going to carry on exploring Guangzhou. I'm going to head into the city, and there'll be more videos to come. I just bought one of these um, hand things, 35 yen, which is about just under 40. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea what they are, but it's nothing to do with camel. What the fuck? Look at that! Oh, it's big, doesn't it? Holy shit, man. Here. Fucking hell. Fatty sausages, basically. This is better than the medicine market and this is just in the side of the bloody road. All the things here. So hope you enjoyed this quick video around the markets. Hope you enjoyed and as always see you on the next one. Bye bye.